Baby doll, baby cakes, we might get the first green monthly September candle in seven years. That's exactly what we're coming for. Right here. Are you going to be a friend for once? We've been holding this industry for such a long time. Come on. If we go down to the one hour chart, everybody's zooming in. Do you notice how we are just walking up, walking up, walking up? You know what that tells me? That tells me whoever did this move down when everybody lost their mind, they were an insider. All right? They were an insider, big player. Someone knew what to do. They saw an obvious level. They saw this level down here. They're like, let's just send it down because we've actually got to buy. Maybe they know something. This is just me, me speaking as your friend with fluffy slippers and a straight back. I reckon there's a chance that Bitcoin ETF might actually come in October. And if it does come in October, the doo-doo head doing this is going to look like the biggest insider cheating scumbag. This is why, friends, you can't wait for the narrative. The price action moves first. The narrative is for plebs. The narrative is for exits. You see, who exited here? The bulls. People who were bullish, you didn't really believe, that was their exit. They put a bad narrative down here. When, when we finally get to the top, who's going to be exiting? The bears. They're going to be capitulating to the tops, but they're going to be capitulating into the sell orders of these insider scumbags who might know something is coming along the way that is going to be very pumpermental for our crypto bags. So as Bitcoin marches towards $27,000, we hope it clears it soon. It's $26,600-ish. We hope that this magical, thick fractal keeps continuing to show us the way. This is exactly what we're waiting for. We're just hoping that the pumpermentals come in October. They call it October. Is it going to play out? I don't know, you know, or are we going to get really super scammed, you know, with a green September and then a red Q4 for the end of the year? You know, you just, you can't be surprised, man. What I like is that everybody's skeptical and paranoid. This actually increases the probability that everything's just going to play out as normal. That's exactly what we want. So don't forget, while everybody was eating Doritos, I was building in the bear market. All right, you're going to watch something magical happen. When we finally clear that crypto bottom, we're all going to join together. We're going to go to everyone on Twitter, all the traditional finance people, the stock market people. We're just going to start tagging them. And we're going to literally just going to post the chart and we're going to literally tag them with this. You had 24 months to accumulate the generational crypto bottom and you just missed it. Are you going to miss the next pump? Trust me, this works because stocks are trash, friends. Stocks, that they're playing over 8% here and there. Crypto, we have things, the ship did a million X. We have things just going 40% up and down. And you might not think that anybody's going to pay attention, but let me tell you something. They're going to look at me with my squirrels and they're going to be like, who's this peanut brain guy? What the hell is going on here? And they're just going to see all the screenshots and the P&Ls being posted. And they're going to realize that they're missing out on something. This actually has a positive flywheel effect because everyone in finance is just jealous of the people making money. They have to look for a bull market somewhere, right? So that's going to be the next phase. I can't wait. So here, Mr. Capricious Huckster, Capricious Huckster, do you ever sleep, baby doll? You know what? Some of these mysteries, will, you know, we're going to leave them to themselves. And as a friendly, gentle reminder, where would we want to go? As a bare minimum, before that Bitcoin harvening in April 2024, we want to see Bitcoin get to this 42,200 level. It touches the 61.8% most of the time, which is 48,000. But like, I mean, wouldn't it suck if we got to 42,000, you don't get out and then we come back to 30 <laughs> next year. You know, just, just be careful. That's what I'm saying. Just be careful and be prepared for that zone. What about the altcoins? You know, on DeFi Llama, you can see all the protocols. I know a lot of us, we want to get into new stuff. The problem is they're not out yet. So I just want to share some insight for you. So, you know, you, we look at the altcoin index, and you, you know there's money in altcoins, but this doesn't tell us the whole story. This is just the whole, you know, there's a total crypto market cap together. It has the same chart, right? Altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum included, right? And this is just total three, but, you know, it doesn't share what's really, really going on because during 2020, you see here, Soilana got released. Soilana did a 500x. You know, I got, a, I got what, like 108x or something. It was my biggest win. So, these coins, the new projects, the new ideas, they come in the Bitcoin halvening year. 
We are trying. We're trying so hard. We buy memes, but everybody is just trash. You get in after a day, people are taking losses of minus 90%. They're taking their $18. Are you serious? Do you forget what you're in crypto for? No one knows how to hold. They're literally just getting in. Oh, well, I'm going to take my take my $16 remaining. I'm not even making this up, by the way. It's literally, you can see that transaction, $16, $25. They're down for, they're down 90%. Oh, I'll just take the $25, man. It's it's really pathetic, but there's just there's not enough of the positive flywheel whirlwind coming. We need Bitcoin and Ethereum to go up first. But I want you to have some hope here because, you know, total crypto, we have 430 million users worldwide. So we've got to dream big, man. Crypto solves too many problems. People are coming in. If we have 430 million worldwide users right now, just think about if we get to 1 billion. If we get to 1 billion, that's about 4x of total crypto market. Remember, we're using Metcalf's law. So you can actually look at it. What would a 4x from 1 trillion be? It would be about here. So let's say we actually did get to, you know, up around 4 trillion, right? And then imagine we did have the, uh-oh, the scam scam, and then we continue up. Wouldn't that be great? Well, not really. I mean, we would want this just to go straight to 10 trillion, but... This is maybe what's coming. So to get to this 4 trillion mark, we're going to need about a billion people coming in-ish around there. But that, that's a lot of extra people. That's 600 million people floating around. That's why those extra 600 million people, they don't know what they're doing. They have no idea how to invest. They, they Okay, they don't believe in diamond hands. Otherwise, they'd be in now. They're going to see big fat monthly green candles and then they're going to they're going to talk about diamond hands but really what they've done is they've gone and bought the top of something. So don't misconstrue this. This is what happens every single time. The diamond hand cheerers, they are the paper hands of today. So the people who are saying um diamond hands is a scam, long terms a scam, DCA is a scam, all those people they're just part of a game friend. How do you think you win? You, you don't win by people constantly winning. What happens? They sell bottoms and they say, Diamond Hands is a scam. We've got to trade. I've got to make a 2X every year. I've got to take my 15% and my 30% compounding, yada, yada. I've got to get rich slow. That type of mentality, that appears in the bottom of these bears. When we get to the top, they don't talk like that anymore. They talk about Diamond Hands. But actually, they're, they're, why they're full of crap? They're full of crap because you're going to see it right now. See this monthly chart of Bitcoin? They start talking about diamond hands on like the fourth green monthly candle. It's exactly when they start talking about it. And then the fifth one. And then the sixth one. See, during this time, one, two, three, the, the, the final the final half of that bull run, the big, big, big bull runs, a lot of people come in and say, we've gone too far. We've gone too far. And they keep getting blown out. And so everybody in the system stays in. Stays in. They're holding assets. They're watching everything go up. They don't want to stop. And everybody who dares to say the opposite gets embarrassed. They get made memes on, they made joke. Everyone's like, people say, you're jealous. You don't want anybody to win or you you didn't miss out, but other people have. Stop saying these things. That's that's what the crowd turns into. And I just want you to know, I can tell you from firsthand experience knowing people, the people who yell the loudest up here, okay, those literally the people yelling the loudest, when it goes down, they are gone. They are over leveraged. They sell the bottoms. They quit the crypto industry. They do things you would never imagine, but you don't hear about them. Survivorship bias. Okay. You only hear about the people like me who are the dead bodies like me rolling around as a, just a ghost around the graveyard. Okay. You don't see the other ghosts. The ghosts are gone. They got vacuumed in. Literally, someone came with their dice and vacuum, sucked them in, and then just took them away. They're not here to actually roam around and tell you, oh, yeah, don't do what I did. Right. They don't come back. That's why we actually got to, to, we have to have some ghost emojis. That's what happened, friends. Like, the, the ghosts. All right, the ghosts are around, but you got to learn. But actually, you are learning. I'm telling you all this information, just no one wants to believe. But now you know, you get to see it. You get to see it firsthand. So you just need to grab, of that 600 million people coming in, you just got to grab 1 million to your ecosystem. 1 million. Now, you don't even need 1 million. A lot of these meme coins, they're just going to have like 30,000 people, 10,000 people rotating around. But that's a lot of people. That's an enormous amount of people. So that's why I'm telling you, remain positive. Remain optimistic. Why I'm bullish. There's so many people to onboard still. Now, of course, the percentage of people is smaller than before. Because okay, you know, we're not at a hundred, we're not at 50 million people in crypto anymore, going to 400 million, which is, which is an 8x. We're not that anymore. Maybe we're just gonna do like a 2x in growth in the next cycle. But that, that's a lot of people coming in. That's a lot of money, net money coming in, yes. But now you get to see 
maybe total altcoins goes from 300 billion. Hope we can get to like 1.2, 1.5 trillion. That's still a lot of money. But what does this kind of tell me? It tells me if the average index is going to do like a 5x, then old coins, Litecoin, all these other forgotten ones, that's probably how much they're going to get. And it kind of makes sense because no one's going to sell less than a 10x, right? So if someone's going to get trapped, either things are going to go over 100x or like less than a 10x because everybody's expecting something in between. Everyone's expecting anywhere between like a, you know, a 10 to a 50x. Unfortunately, this is what the numbers are. You, know, you can turn a blind eye all you want, but I'm just here to give you the truth. That's why you got to find undervalued crypto. That's why the game is getting harder. You can't go and just buy Litecoin cycle number four or Doge in cycle number four and expect to win a lot. But you already knew this. That's why you're, that's why you're my friend. We're going to keep dancing away with Peppy. Make sure you like, subscribe, press the bell button, or I'm going to catch you in the next one.